Okay, these are some chords you could play along with the song in low rider if you were wanted to sing it and play it at the same time, do kind of a solo arrangement. You don't actually hear them in the recording, but I've put this part of the lesson together so you can get some extra practice playing some bar chords and stuff like that along with the song. I'll play it along so you can see what my hands are doing, and then we'll go over it chord by chord. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I start things on a G7. And the way I form that is I use my first finger across the third fret on all the strings, second finger on fourth fret, third string, and third finger on fifth fret of the fifth string. So it looks like that. Next we have a C, which is first finger, third fret, fifth string, and third finger across the fifth fret on the fourth, third, and second strings, kind of hyperextended here. So we have, and you want to keep these short when you play them, like, kind of like that. Use your left hand to bounce off the strings a little bit. And then we have D minor 7 after that. Um, and what we're doing here is first finger, fifth fret, fifth string, third finger, seventh fret, fourth string, first finger barring fifth here, and second finger on the sixth fret of second string. So, so far we have this. And then lastly, a B flat chord, which is the same chord we used here on C, except move down two frets. That would be first finger, first fret, fifth string, and third barring the third fret on the fourth, third, and second strings. And when you play this, you want to keep them short. So there's a few chords you can uh, use to play along with the song if you want. Um, like I said, they're not in the recording, but it sounds good when you jam them along with the tune, it'll give you a little extra practice.